it's Terrariums and T, and I want to talk to you today about something that sucks, and it is orchid viruses. And the reason I think orchid viruses suck so badly is because there's no cure for them. And when you try to look for a cure online, it says, throw your plant away. People are so harsh. Um, so the two main orchid viruses are the Cymbidia mosaic virus and the Odontoglossum ring spot virus. Now, there's 30 other viruses that can infect your orchid, but these are the two bad ones. These are the grossest ones. And there could be a cure. Um, so, yeah, let's talk about them. Um, I tried to find out more information about them through the library, through books, but I kept hitting this roadblock of information where it was just the same information over and over. I wasn't getting anything more. I tried looking online and just saw that same information being repeated. I then started looking into scientific journals and found out that there weren't that many. Um, there were some interesting ones that I found. Um, one of them was done in Hawaii and this study in Hawaii went to a nursery and they just tested a bunch of plants and they found that these two viruses uh, were detected in Let's see, a bunch of plants, let's see. They tested some clones and the Cymbidium mosaic virus was detected in 45% of those and the other one was 9% of the clones and then they also just tested randomly throughout. And what's interesting about this is that virus hasn't been found in the wild. so. They tested orchids in the wild, they didn't have a virus, and then they also tested the mother plants, and the mother plants had a lower incidence of the virus, and they think this is because the mother plants are kept separate from the general population of plants, and they're not, the people who work on those plants don't use the same tools, and that's when they started, you know, putting things together that the, the virus was being spread by people, basically. It's spread by people and also by insects that might be carriers. And I was reading another scientific journal from India, and this one speculated that also the medium, so the moss and the bark, could also be spreading the virus. Um, I didn't like that it was inconclusive. Um, I couldn't find if the virus could be spread from a mother plant to a seed. And everything said no, it was all somebody's opinion, but I couldn't find an actual study on it. Now, I did find studies on other viruses, and it said that those were spread from the mother plant to the seeds. It's a possibility that it is being spread from the mother plants to the seeds, and nobody is testing for it. And also with these tests, um, the younger plants didn't have the virus as much as the older plants did and they're thinking it was because of the cutting instruments that people were using in the nursery but it also could be that maybe the virus is like laying dormant for a few years and nobody's doing that study nobody's really checking i saw another study where they purposely infected an uh, orchid and watched how it spread throughout the orchid so after they infected one leaf they tested the leaf and over the course of seven months or so, um, the entire orchid slowly got the entire virus. Um, it went from one leaf to another, then to the bulb and then the roots. And I would have really liked to see a bigger version of this study where they had more plants and, and, and they divided the plants at different intervals of, you know, plants getting sick and I would have liked to see, in a controlled environment, if those plants divided from the half of the orchid that didn't have the virus still got the virus, like if the virus had spread to it but it wasn't, you know, coming up and test yet, or if it is possible to save a plant that might have a virus on one side but not the other, that would have been cool. Wasn't done. Um, what else? Have you seen the pictures of orchid viruses? They're horrible. They look like those awful STD pictures that you would see in like health class. That's what they look like. 
Oh, so gross. <laughs> and also, I think most orchids have been exposed to viruses because they're grown in nurseries. And people can try to be clean, but they're still gonna... You're still gonna touch like one orchid and then go to another orchid and maybe accidentally touch it or not really think about what you're doing. And so I think some orchids are more resistant to viruses and I think others are carriers maybe. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Leave something nice. Some Say you like my channel. I'll be happy. Alright, bye.